I wanted to do a quick comparison between Replay Media Catcher 4 and the latest version of Replay Media Catcher 5. So for those of you who've been using Replay Media Catcher 4, you're used to opening the program and seeing this welcome screen. It just simply says, click the Start Recording button, and then Replay Media Catcher will start capturing. So I close this. Would you like to start recording now? I click Yes. The recording button turns red from green. If I then open a browser window and start playing a video, like a YouTube video for instance, Replay Media Catcher will automatically start capturing it for me. Well, the latest version of Replay Media Catcher 5 is very similar. When you first open the program, you'll also be greeted by a welcome screen. It tells you to just click the Start button to begin monitoring for downloads. I'm going to click Start here, which also turns on the program here. And then it just goes on to say that Basically the same thing. Replay Media Catcher 5 will then automatically detect and start downloading any supported video, audio, or radio streams that you play in your browser. A point of difference though between the two programs is that with Replay Media Catcher 5, you have a chance to tweak the way the interface looks for you. The default interface, which is the beginner's interface, which is the one that I have here, which shows you the library screen, which is this one, the guides page, which is one of my favorite features about this program. It gives you access to video, music, and radio sites from all over the world. And then there's also a schedule tab which allows you to set up the program to automatically download streams even when you're not in front of your PC. So that's the beginner's interface, but you can choose whether or not you want the list view interface, and I'll show you what that looks like. For example, here are all the streams that I've captured in list view, and here are all those same streams in icon view. So you get to choose whether or not you want list view or icon view. And then the last option is the advanced interface, which gives you immediate access to the audio recording tool and the history capture tool. Both are very cool features. I'm going to go back to the beginner's interface, which is, as I said, the default. I am now ready to start capturing, so I'm just going to click OK. And as with Replay Media Catcher 4, all you need to do is start playing a stream either from the guides or open a browser window and start playing a video. Once the video starts to play in your browser, Replay Media Catcher will start capturing it. Replay Media Catcher 5 finished capturing the stream and it only had been playing for about 22 seconds, which is pretty great. Other things to note that are similar between the two programs. You can access all the features of the program by clicking this down arrow, which is very similar to the way Replay Media Catcher 4 worked. You can also right click on a captured stream and access all those functions. You can turn the program on and off from here. And you can access the converter from this screen right here. And the converter is actually set up in a much more easy to understand way. And you can also access the converter under the library screen. It's really pretty amazing all the things that you can do with this program. It's a lot of fun to use. It's a great program if you're a fan of streaming media. I hope you enjoy checking it out. And of course, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our amazing tech support people. Thanks so much.